Walmart, gifts for under $5 for kids is the goal of this video. Over on my community tab, I asked you where you wanted to see another shop with me for the holidays, and you guys said Walmart. So we're heading over there to find some great things that you can give to kids under $5, and maybe a couple extra things that are a little bit more expensive. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. You may have seen or may have noticed that we are in the midst of holiday giveaways. We just finished a whole week of them and they're still going on. So if you haven't watched them, go back and check out my holiday gift guides from last week. There are some amazing giveaways and they run until the end right after Thanksgiving. So don't wanna miss that after you watch this video. But if you're new around here, I do educational activities for kids, ideas and inspirations to learn through play, but I have to source those things from somewhere and sometimes we use a little bit of toys to assist with that. So that's where these shop with means come into play and you guys requested over on my community tab. If you haven't stopped over there, it's a fun place to be because I really do want your input and ask for your input. But I asked you where you'd like to see another shop with me and you guys said Walmart. So we are heading over to Walmart. I put a little goal and my goal is to look for items that are $5 and under. I might mention a few things that are a little bit more expensive just to keep things in mind. However, I found a couple of great things that I think you'll like. So let's head over to Walmart and do a little bit of a shop with me. So I have to admit, I was a little hesitant if this challenge of $5 presents was gonna be easy. So I stopped off first in the art supply section and I found some 97 cent color by number kits. I thought these were pretty cute. I'm not sure of the quality, but they did come with the colored pencils and for a dollar, I think that's a steal. Also in the craft section, I found these sun catcher kits. There are eight in here. It comes with the paints and they had two different themes. One was a butterflies and flowers and the other was an animal theme. Another great stocking stuffer here for 97 cents were these bracelet kits. They come with the beads and the string to put them on. They had two different styles to choose from. And if you weren't too fond on those and want to do your own, you could buy bigger packs like these that have all of the alphabet blocks. These are my favorite for just a little bit more, about $4 a pack and they have plain ones too. Plus you could buy the string and put together a really cute gift for somebody who likes to make their own jewelry. Another quick tip, if you get a package of pipe cleaners for 88 cents, it's also a great fine motor exercise to string pony beads on those little pipe cleaners. Heading on over to the Christmas section, I'm looking for stocking stuffers. At first, my impressions weren't that great, but once you do some digging around in these bins, I found some fun things. 98 cents board books for kids. They had a couple different styles, nativity, Christmas, a few little reindeer ones. That could be really fun for a stocking for a little one. And check out these dinosaur cars. They have wheels on them. They are so cute. These were $1.98, and I found several different styles of these. I know that my daughter would have loved these a few years ago when she was a toddler. I even found a purple one. I'm in love with these too. These are musical shakers. If you're doing a school performance, they'd be great for that. But just for some musical instrument play, these are also great. And then check out these 24 count value packs. If you're doing a holiday party, you need some little giveaways or something to put in a stocking. These are a lot of fun. Lots of different styles here too. I saw the unicorn ones and then they had your traditional penguin and Santa Claus ones too. And they each had something a little bit different. I love these. These are 98 cent stationary sets that come with a little pad, some stickers, a pencil eraser, and a pencil sharpener. I found one in a Santa Claus, one in a snowman, and of course they have unicorns pulling sleighs because that's what unicorns do, right? Check out this 298 stamp set. This one was a frozen theme. They had also a Rudolph theme if you prefer. Comes with the stamps, some markers, and the little book. I think just for the stamps, it's probably worth the price. And I love these little invisible ink books and so do my girls. Another great stocking stuffer in several different styles and a lot of popular cartoon styles and some holiday theme ones too. Here are some little portfolios filled with post-it notes. There was one with Poppy from Trolls and one from Grinch. I didn't see any others, but I have a feeling there might be a couple out there at different Walmart stores. Walmart always puts aside a whole bunch of gift ideas and the prices were a little bit higher than I expected, but I did find the section of books here and in the section of books, some holiday-esque find it books. This one I pulled down to take a look at and I really liked. However, I wasn't too fond of the price. I flipped through it. It seemed like your typical activity book, but it was holiday themed filled with all different kinds of activities. This one is gonna cost you $7. They also had a sticker themed one, similar pages inside and the same price at $7 too. You could probably find some of these same activity books at the Dollar Tree for a lot less, just not as thick. 
And look over here, I found these little Santa Claus and Snowman packets filled with some putty. You can get this at the Target dollar section too, but they tend to sell out fast. So if you miss those, you can check them out here. They're 98 cents. And I really do like these mix and match tattoos. I found one in Mermaids and Robots, another great stocking stuffer find. They had a whole bunch of stickers as well, and we've been seeing the stickers at Target and at the dollar store, but they have very similar styles. Some that were just plain Christmas ones, some that were holographic. And I like that they had the holiday themed bubble blowers at 98 cents. They had a couple cute holiday toppers and these would be a lot of fun to have put into a stocking. I like these little activity books. This one is a word search with a Santa theme. They also had a couple of other small tablets. These are smaller than the other books and they are a much better value for a dollar. I like that they had several different styles. So if you had different kids, you can get a couple different ones. Also in the gift section, I thought these were a score. They are bath foams. You put them in the bathtub, they stick to your bathtub walls. These are a lot of fun in ABCs and one, two, threes. Highly recommend them. And then new to me are these. They are animal mix and match shapes. I love them. These are both under $5, would make a great gift. If you're not giving it to somebody, you might want it for yourself because they are a perfect baby or toddler item. Another gift for $4.88 are these little kits that you can make your own soap. They all have the same things inside of them. They were just different themed boxes, if whether or not you like JoJo or Girl Scouts or, or what have you. But another really fun DIY gift where everything comes together. I was getting to feel a little distraught, not finding a lot of items for kids under $5. So I headed over to the toy section to see what I could find. Hopefully some things for $5 or under. I did find the basic beginner board games, the shoots and ladders, the candy land, the hi-ho cheerio, but these were just over $5. Sometimes these go on sale on Black Friday, so be on the lookout for that. But I rounded the corner and I did see some card sets. Uno, Phase 10, and Uno Dose are all under $5, which are great beginner games, probably your kindergarten age and up to start. I haven't played Uno Dose. If you have, let me know if you like it down below in the comments because I'm kind of curious to see if we need to add it to our collection. Be forewarned though, these little games, left, center, right, and the Family Feud game, you can find these at Dollar Tree in smaller versions for just a dollar. Here, they're $7 for the full size. And the same thing with these little games too, like Crazy Eights and Old Maid, you can find these at the Target Dollar section for $1. But I do like these Seek and Find games. This one's from Disney called I Find It, where you have to find some objects on the cards. And of course, I Spy is another great one too, when you're looking for things on a card. I didn't think I'd find $5 items and the Lego sets, but I did. These Creator Classic sets, there's four different ones and four different colors are all under $5. We have these, we love them, I highly recommend them. They come, everything that you need to do, just three Lego activities. This is great for the beginner Lego builder. They also have the kits under $5, which are kind of a variety, all different kinds of styles. They have the city ones, the friends, and then some Star Wars one too. These are also perfect for stockings. You can just stick them right in there and they have a little Lego kit that they can make for under $5. In the doll aisle, I was expecting to find some of the lower end Barbies for under $5, and I did. I found some that were just under $5 at $4.94, except they didn't have any clothes. They all had bathing suits on, so that might be something to consider if you're gonna get a Barbie doll. But dolls are great for imaginative play, and I highly recommend a child having at least one. Over on the car section, we have Matchbox gift sets. These are $5, and you get kind of a variety of trucks. I love the ones that you could use in sense bins like the bulldozers or the construction vehicles. They're a lot of fun to play with for both boys and girls. The single ones are just 94 cents, much cheaper than Dollar Tree. And the same thing with the Hot Wheels. You can get a large pack of the Hot Wheels for just under $5 and the single ones for under a dollar. Definitely buy your race cars here at Walmart versus Dollar Tree. This snake toy is a really great fidget toy. It's a movable, bendable, poseable. You can make all kinds of things with it. I had this when I was a little kid and now my girls have it. This is under $5 too. It would probably fit in a stocking as well and it is a great fidget toy. The smaller Polly Pockets are under $5 too. They come with a doll and a couple of accessories to play with. All sorts of different styles and characters. So if your child loves those miniature dolls, that this would be a really fun find. Again, it's great imaginative play for the little ones in your your life, the toddlers, these baby dolls are so, so cute. They're all under $5 in different sizes and different styles. They have different clothes and different things about them and they're all soft and squishy. I definitely recommend one of these if you're gonna be looking for a really affordable baby doll. And if you wanna pay just a little bit more than $5, they have these sets that have the food in them and some diapers and some bottles so that you can continue your play. And I wanna give a special mention to these Twisty Pets. Although they are $6, they are a lot of fun. They come in a lot of different animals 
animals and you shape them up to look like an animal, but then you can unshape them and make them into a bracelet. They are a lot of fun and they're collectible and my kids love these too. Did you know Walmart has a learning section? They do, and a lot of fun things. I'm really liking these vehicle sets. They are under $5 as well and you get several in them. They had three different styles, airplanes and cars, and they even had a monster truck set. These will go a long way in play and imagine to play combining them with other toys. This magnet set was really cute too. I love that it had the alphabet and a corresponding picture so you can learn your alphabet sounds. And check out this wooden puzzle with the alphabet. I really, really like this. This one is a bargain for the price. Here is a stackable toy where you have to balance all the pieces. There are two different styles, a Noah's Ark theme and a farm theme. I think these are excellent as well for what you get. Looking over at some Fisher Price stuff, there are some things on sale. These little push toys were all on sale for just over $5. And, and of course, what baby would not want a stacking set? Once again, this one comes in right at $5. A few more things on sale were these monsters. How cute are these? They are sensory toys that have a whole bunch of doodads on them that you can move around. Each one was $4.88 and there were several different ones to choose from. And I love these push dinosaurs. They are made out of plastic and they're really chunky for those little hands. These were on sale for $3.88 at my store. Do you like little people? Because we do. If you have a toddler in your life, little people are the best toy. I love these cars. I would put these in the girls' Christmas presents list all the time. And they even had the little people animals too. My store only had two different styles, but I'm sure there's more out there. Here's a fun play set for $4.88 is a baking pretend play set and a whole bunch of play food. If your child likes to experiment and pretend to play kitchen or pretend to play restaurant, they had some pans that had some food inside. Each one had a different set of food. And then they even had a little shopping basket filled with all kinds of little boxes and vegetables and fruits so you could play store. This one was $6. I headed over to the train section where I could find Thomas the Train Minis. You can get a three pack for under $5. And if your child likes to be surprised, you can get the minis that are a surprise toy. You don't know what it is until you open it. Now here's a hint, always get your Play-Doh at Walmart. It's 50 cents a jar at Dollar Tree, it's a little bit more. You can even get a bigger pack for $6 that has the minis, which are great for putting in a restaurant kit or for traveling. I think this $5 gift is perfect. It comes with some Play-Doh and a tool that you push down to squeeze out all kinds of different shapes and things. I love that. And if you want a bigger pack of the whole Play-Doh, you can get one too. Walmart has an off-brand toy section. I really don't know what to recommend here because I don't know about the quality, but just be known there is a whole bunch of gift options that are under $5 if you should choose them for both boys and girls in a variety of different ways. So if you had experience with this and they're, you think they're good, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions. I do think that this little toy dish set up here at the top is actually a good find too. Over at the electronics section, $5 DVDs. We have a minivan with a DVD player in it, so these come in super handy when we take long road trips. They have lots of kids' titles, lots of cartoons, a little bit older movies, and they are all $5 or under. So definitely check out this spot. In the book section, I was hoping to find a whole bunch of under $5 gifts, and I was pleasantly surprised to find a whole bunch of books, storybooks, picture books, all under $5, all popular titles and popular names that your child will know. They even had early readers, which I think is fantastic. So if you can give a book to a child as a gift, I would definitely recommend that. You have to let me know if you've scored something really good at Walmart, especially when it comes to learning and kids. Leave me a comment down below because everybody reads the comments and they wanna to know too. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Check out the giveaway videos. There's some good stuff and give me a like to show your love.